Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to change from 2D to isometric in AutoCAD. So first we are going to change the units. So here you can click as decimal and go to precision and click on units as millimeters and click on OK. So next we are next we are going for limits. So here it is asking for lower left corner. I'm giving it as 0, 0. And next upper right corner, I'm giving A4 size dimensions in mm. That is 210, 297. Enter. Next. So to change from 2D to isometric, I'm giving the command as D settings. Enter. So here it is showing a drafting settings command. And in the snap and grid option, there is an option like snap point. Here, now we are changing from rectangular snap to isometric snap. And click on OK. So, now you have seen the cursor will change from 2D to isometric. So, this indicates the isometric settings. So, here it is having two axes that is X and Y. So, here the X and Y are the placed at an angle of 30 degrees so to change from one view to other view in isometric you can click on f5 so it is in the side view and this is top view and this is front view okay so here there are two axes that is x and y okay so this top left and right so it is showing the three views so it is so this is the this is the top view this is right view and this is left side view so here down you can see the positions of the planes so if it is in cross position this is the top view and if red side red is the x axis and green is y axis now i am going to draw a figure using using this planes in isometric so as it is in the left plane i am starting from the left plane so for command give for drawing a line give the command as l enter so specify the start point and we can draw in this position that is in this direction that is in vertical direction and this is in the horizontal direction to get these straight lines that is exactly a straight line you go on click on f8 so that is ortho on so this is the ortho on i am giving the distances so in this distance i am giving the value as 50 enter okay as it is in mm so just zoom in you are going to get a line like this next i am going to draw a line here so with the same distance as 50 and in this direction 50 and in this direction 50 so as it is completed just click on escape to close the box that is to close the figure so we have completed it in the left side so now change the plane that is an isoplane it is showing on the top plane. so again click on l enter specify the start point give the distance as 50 and in this direction 50 and in this also 50 next and click on escape as it is completed so again change the plane by using f5 now it is in the right side so give the command as L enter, specify this first point, distance as 50 and in the direction 50 and click on escape. So here I completed the figure. So next I want to draw a circle on this top plane and a rectangle on this right plane and a circle on in this left plane. So for drawing a circle or any line, we are going to take the midpoints here. So now, as it on the uh, right side, now I am going to finish the circle here. So first I am going to draw a midpoints. As it is not showing any midpoints. So go to polar settings that is escape. Go to settings that is drafting settings. DS center polar uh, that is object snap. So select all. And select all the object snap points and click on ok now take the line enter 
now it is showing the midpoint so draw a midpoint here and again I draw a midline here from this point to this point okay now I want to draw a circle here of diameter 25 okay diameter 25 now go to circle sorry go to command bar and give the command as circle c enter okay so it is asking for center point for circle if i uh, keep this center this point is a center point so if i pick this point as center and draw a circle it is getting the circle but it is not exactly to that face okay so this is not the correct command to use in the isometric so for that just delete this circle by select it now again go to circle c enter specify the center point first of all specify the center point and sorry here we are going to use the ellipse instead of circle so in isometric to draw a circle we use a command as ellipse so command for ellipse is e l enter so here is asking first at the center point of ellipse or arc center isocircle so use this isocircle and specify the center point for isocircle so as it is in, that is as the plane is in the right side position so circle will be in the right side position suppose if i click if i change the iso planes that is click on f5 you are going to get the plane as per the position of the iso plane so as the position of the plane is in the left side so as the plane is in the left side you are going to get the circuit in the left side suppose if the plane is in the top so you are going to get the circuit on the top if it is on the right you are going to get the circuit on the right plane so this is how we are going to draw the circle in isometric by using ellipse command and in that we are going to use the isocircle sub command so now give the radius for the isocircle so i am giving the radius so what has all that is diameter of the circle should be 25 so radius is 12.5 enter so this is how we are drawn a circle on this right plane next on this top plane i am going to draw the rectangle or in this left plane i am going to draw the circle so similarly draw a mid lines from this midpoint to midpoint similarly same lines from here but it is in the left plane so it is not coming as the play uh, that is cursor it is in the right position so change the planes so it is in the left so this is the left so draw the lines now command to use draw circle is the ellipse so click on ellipse and click as isometric as sub command specify the center point now here i am going to give the radius as some 20 okay and click on ok so this is how we have got the circle so next here i am going to draw the rectangle so now i want to draw a rectangle on this top with a dimension of 30 by 30 so for that i am taking the line command l enter so specify the first point and give the distance as 10 so if we remove the 10 on both the sides we are going to get the 30 by 30 rectangle sorry square so give the distance as 10 enter in this direction and again give this 10 in this direction so as we are in the top plane we are going to get these lines exactly now i am going to draw a 30 line in this direction so similarly now in this direction i am going to draw 30 and in this way similarly i am going to draw 30 distance and now i am going to finish this square and click on enter to exit from the command now i remove this unwanted lines and remaining portions in this so these are the unwanted lines so i'm just deleting it so this is how we are going to draw a isometric figure here and and now i want to do a like extruder figure like i want to make a, this isometric as some 3d figure so what i will do now i am going to extrude this circle in this direction by using the 
line command and circle command so as it is in the top plane just change the isoplane to the right and go to L enter so draw a point sorry take a point and draw a circle here in this direction so line is uh, that is plane is in the left side we are going to get a lines only in that plane only so i'm going to change the plane so that it will get the lines in this position so it should be perpendicular to this so it are going to get like this so i'm taking the distance as 50 enter okay similarly take the line command and draw another line from this quadrant point up to same distance as 50 okay now i want to draw circle at this end points with the same diameter so what i will do so go to copy command select the objects okay and click on enter now specify the base point and specify the second point so what is the length of the length the length of the line it is 50 so give the distance as 50 and click on exit so this is how we are going to extrude this circle in this position now i want to remove this unwanted portions here so for that use the command as trim tr double enter so trim this lines so this is how we are going to draw an isometric figure by changing the planes and for drawing the circles we are going to use the ellipse command so this is of the final figure of a isometric so for more videos subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you